Hey, Hergen here from Nauticam. Uh, we got lots of cool stuff for you this year here at DEMA 2019. Um, got great stuff for compacts, got some new mirrorless stuff going on, and uh, also got some new cinema stuff on the way as well. So this is our newest, latest, and greatest wet lens. Um, so previously we had the WWL1, and that WWL1, that took a 28 millimeter equivalent lens and brought it into 130 degree field of view, focused right on the front element, and of course was on that bayonet mount so you could remove it underwater and put it back on the camera. And what we decided to do for this year was we created a new version of the WWL. And because most of those one inch compact cameras start out with a 24 millimeter equivalent lens, we decided to make one that's really aimed at that 24 millimeter equivalent. So it's a little bit lower profile, still offers that great 130 degree wide field of view, focuses right on the front element. And to accommodate it, we've got a new bayonet mount too, but any, any other bayonet mount lens that you have from before will work on that bayonet mount too. It's just the new WWL-C uh, uh, won't work on the older bayonet mounts. And what's really cool is you can use this even if you don't have an Autocam housing. So as of right now, we have a bayonet and mount adapter that works on the Olympus PT058, PT059. So for that uh, TG5, TG6, um, you can use that bayonet mount system with the new WWLC on your Olympus housed TG5, TG6. So we're super excited about this. Um, this is the housing. It's the NAE2. So it's the housing for the Zcam E2 cinema camera. Um, you can't really see what it looks like in the housing, but we've also got one outside the housing. So this is an extremely compact cinema camera, and it will actually capture 4K at up to 160 frames a second, which is pretty wild. Um, if you want to work more in the 60 frame per second range, you can also capture that footage in their proprietary RAW format, or also some flavors of ProRes and um, Avid DNX as well. But the biggest thing about this is not only the compact size, but it's also a micro four thirds uh, lens mount. So if you're moving from a GH5 or just getting into uh, underwater cinema, cinema, your lenses and ports, everything is gonna transfer right over to this system. Um, it does require an external monitor because the, camera, the monitor on the camera itself is actually quite small. So it does require an external monitor, but we've got plenty of options for that as well. Really looking forward to get this thing in the water and uh, see what shows up. So earlier this year, Blackmagic released the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and that featured a also a micro four thirds uh, lens mount to it so it's part of our n85 micro four thirds system which means you again have access to that awesome wwl1 cmc combo um, with those 14 to 42 zoom lenses you get 130 degrees full zoom through swap over to the macro one system and just a little while ago they released another version of it that's the 6k version so the pocket cinema camera 6k and this features an ef lens mount so this actually joins our N120, but again, if you're moving from a 5D Mark IV or you have another uh, Canon N120 system and you're moving over, your ports, your lenses are all gonna carry over. But one cool addition is we've added the cinema-styled focus and zoom knobs. And so the only thing you would have to change is you would have to move to that cinema gear set. But this is really gonna allow you to get that nice cinematic focus and zoom pulls while you're shooting. And also, shooting in 6K, or if you want, shooting in a little bit higher frame rate, uh, 4K as well. So what we have here is we have the second version of the WACP, our wide angle conversion port, this is the WACP2. So that WACP, the original, was designed to work in front of a 28 millimeter equivalent lens. And what that did is that brought us 130 degree wide angle, focusing right on that front element, and uh, very little distortion. In addition to that, able to shoot at wide open apertures like f5.6 and still get great corner sharpness. So really nice for those low light situations. It also has full optical zoom through. So with certain lenses, you can get your wide, medium, and tight shots all with the same lens. So with the second version, this one is aimed for the 1635, or in certain cases, even the 14 millimeter lenses. So at 14 millimeters, you're gonna end up with a 140 degree rectilinear wide angle, which doesn't even exist in a lens on land. Um, and in addition to that, it'll focus in air. So we'll be able to use this one for split shots and also for any sort of topside shooting that you may need. Um, it's also now part of the N120 port system as opposed to the N100 that the uh, original WACP was. And we set the shade up so that when you rest it face down on the table, it's not gonna be hitting the glass. 
But if you were to go in the water and shoot at 14 millimeters, that shade would be showing up in the shot. So we've got this neat little retractor. You can literally slide the shade and it retracts it a little bit. And now you got no more shade at 14 mils. And then you can just slide that right back out when you're shooting zoomed in. 